man. This is man. It's your boy Hustle, man. Welcome to Motivation Key right here. You get motivated, you already know what it is. You know, in a day, I got another reaction video for y'all, you hear me? And, um, you know, we finna dive into it, man. Uh, this one here with my boy Kevin Gates, you know, he done dropped in on Sway, you know, with him and Sway hook up, you know, it be legendary, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he is promoting his new album, Ceremony, the Ceremony. Y'all gotta go check that out, I ain't gonna lie. The title of this video is, uh, the power, the secret powers of manifestation, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna get into it though. And man, do your boy a favor, man. Man, I know it's early, but man, if you mess with your boy, give me a thumbs up, man. You hear me? Please do that, man. Give me in the algorithm, you know. I'm trying to get my people in tune with me. And um, you know, I need y'all, man. Feel me? Let's get it. I believe I was, I, I had a, internal issues that was unresolved. You still see that when you look in the mirror? No, sir, I see a great man. Hey, man, I see a beautiful man myself. Yes, sir, my All beautiful right? brother. Good oh, to my see you, God. He, yeah, I see that too. He's using that body of language. You saw that, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, salute to my man, Torture. Yes, uh, Kalani sir. pulled that clip out yeah. of me and my brother sitting there having conversation. And it's interesting to hear that clip, Heather B, because uh, you know, nobody knows you better than you know yourself, right? And so a lot of times when I listen to playbacks of interviews I've done, not even interviews, interactions I've had, conversations, yeah. I can tell how invested I'm truly in. Mm -hmm. You know, I can tell how 100 I'm truly being, you know, so to speak. And whenever I hear my the tone of my voice in conversation with this man that's with us today, I can hear the love, I can hear the admiration, I can hear the protection, you know, I can hear the support, you know, I, I, I feel like a big brother to him in man, many ways. about to make me cry. Yeah, nah, bitch, no, no, well, it's just what I, listening back to that clip, I was like, oh, wow, I was, I was authentically myself, and it reminded me of flying to L.A. to sit down and talk to you and have that conversation. Boy, yeah, hey, you remember that time I was late? Cool yeah, yeah, I was apologizing, yeah. I had got on my knee. Yes. And when I got on my knee, you got on your knee, and yes. you was like... And you was like, uh, it was like your your action was saying, I'm never I'm never above you, never below you. I'm always on side you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like you said it without saying it, like with your actions. Mm -hmm. I just I just want I just tell you thank you for being you again. Oh, man. Come on, Kev. Thank oh, you, man. Thank you, brother, for receiving me. Oh, thank you again. All right. Thank you, man. Kevin Gates like, is the, up in this building. From the first time I had met you, yeah. from the first time I met you, when I was just on that, I just rap, you know. You, you know you 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 was you was digging deep and you just made me just come out of my shell and you saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself at the time. So like I said, I'm, I'm gonna always be grateful. Oh I'm man, I always love you for that. I'm always be grateful. I told this story before, Kalani, my my nephew right now worked for for us. He wasn't here when you was here last time. The first time we really interacted was um. I want to say it was a BET thing, was it? You need to charge your phone? I needed to charge my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I felt like I needed, you were either changing your outfit, I needed to charge my phone badly. And Kev was like, come hey, on. come on, come, come in my on. car. Got you. It's a nice ass bit. car too. We're saying your body. I kind of seen you have. Mm -hmm. God man, body covered by the highest. They guns hold no power to this holy temple. How you kill a god when the law called him? Yeah, that's the that only song. time he goes when the law called him. You know, I, my body, my temple. So when he everybody was in there ball. drinking, I just had apple juice. Mm. A great responsibility to come with it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, that's what made me stop drinking because, like, you're not ready to call your body your temple because you ain't ready to take responsibility. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me that. Somebody told you that. And then I was like, you right. Because it takes a lot. It ain't an easy journey, right? Mm. All those things, it takes a lot to keep your tempo intact. But when I first came out and talked about semen retention, everybody laughed at me. No, I didn't laugh. Now, nah, that's, that's all you hear now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. The life force is sacred. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, that's all you hear is everybody talking about that's what they do now. Wonder yeah. where they got that from. Yeah. Is Kay. semen retention the hey, same man. as. I don't think you started that, my dog. You know what I'm saying? I know, you know, you know what I'm saying? It just became popular, though, but it's been around, you know. Uh, 
people like monks and stuff like that, you know, they, they practice that, you know, it's like a spiritual thing too. But it, it do, I read up on it, it do have like benefits of it, I ain't gonna lie. You know, you gotta think about it. You know, your semen make up, uh, like, it make up most of like zinc, magnesium, copper, things of that nature, you feel me? So you steady busting, busting, you losing, your body losing out on, you know, minerals and shit, you know what I'm saying, that you need, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and you know, for your skin, your energy, because you gotta realize too, you know, when you bust, man, you be drained. You just want to roll over and go to sleep. You feel me? So, then think about if you building your shit up. You know what I'm saying? That's why niggas in jail, man. You know, niggas who won't jack off and they just be in that bitch like built up, man. They they be yeah, they be like yeah, you know. And they be strong as a bitch and they be mad as a bitch, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get into it. Celibacy? No, ma'am. Okay. Discipline. Semen retention take real discipline. Mm -hmm. But to be honest is. with you, I, I don't even like to even talk about those things anymore because okay. it's, not, it's not that. I even hate the word sex because it's spiritual communication. But whenever I would have a sexually related conversation, people take little small sound bits and clips and make go viral off a small clip and then go to the interview and see what I said made sense. That's true. But they try to make me look like a clown in the in for clickbait and things of that nature. So I had to realize that with psychology, mm -hmm. even though a teacher may have a master's in psychology, when they teach in elementary school, they they meet the child at the level that the child is at. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, you know, some conversations are too high frequency for people that's vibrating at a low frequency. I can't cast my pearls to the swine. They're going to take them and just and shit all over them. That's real. They you know. frivolous with it, too. Yeah. So real. Very frivolous. That's the... That's so that's the, why I stay yeah. away from them type of topics because I operate... In a, I operate in a realm that's that's outside of the the um, the understanding of most people because common sense is not really common anymore. Mm. But how did you find your path into that realm, like your spirituality? I know this ceremony project really touches into that, right? When did I become not afraid to speak about it? Because I've been spiritual. Okay. Um, 2021. 20, that's when I said I'm done. I'm I'm, I'm I ain't not lie. even pretending. Kevin no. Gates, my dog, man. Like, you know what I'm saying. Like it was one time. I was the right fed. Kevin Gates, my dog, you know. You know what I'm saying? I've been rocking with dude from when he was chunking with the dreads, you know what I'm saying? Way in 07, 08, you know what I'm saying? You know, from the same hometown, Baton Rouge, you know, stand up. And I salute him, bro, because he made it out this bitch, bro. And, you know, down here, this bitch like crabs in the bucket, you feel what I'm saying? But what I was going to say, Man, that bitch been down there. Everything it is, you hear me? Bitch been was Jamaican at one time. Bitch been Native American. Bitch Muslim now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, that's the difference. The different. What I want to say. The different. Um, personalities. I say. You know what I'm saying? You know. That he possessed, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, in a way. I was out here at a club, something told me, get out of here. I left, then a big fight erupted. But I was gone, unscathed. I pay attention to my inner self. Mm -hmm. There's people that I can look at from different. down the street and I know that they're not right different. for me. That would make them different. But I done dealt with them anyway. And guess what? You, I, <laughs> I, I can't say I suffered the consequences. I had to learn a valuable lesson. Yeah. I had to learn a lesson. Mm hmm. Got to follow that inner voice. And the lesson, the lesson know, taught me about. to start trusting yeah, myself more. Because mm -hmm. you was never wrong. Right. Kevin Gates, HB. Wow. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, I appreciate what you're saying Same. and your truth. I do. Um, I was blessed enough to come in this industry as an artist, and I, I've gone through my journeys. Yes, ma'am. And um, Sway and I because we've known each other now for three decades, we consciously made the decision. I've been knowing you for over a decade. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, so don't count me out. No, 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 no. But I, and I know that. But Sway and I made the conscious decision for this place to be a safe space 
for people to come and share what, exactly what you just shared. And I just want to say to you, without going there, thank you. And you are absolutely doing what you needed to do. I didn't know about any of this. I'm listening, like I'm hearing this for the very first time. But the first thing I did, when you, well, you did when you walked in the room, you hugged me. And my spirit. It felt right. Man, out of him and Rod Wave, them two though, ain't nobody fucking with them niggas when they come to like really putting their feelings into music, man, and really making themselves vulnerable. You feel me? You know, uh, expressing all their vulnerability in their music. I fuck with that because that type of shit get people through it, man. You know, a lot of people going through it right now in the world, and, you know, people need that, man. It's therapeutic. You feel me? And what did I say to you? I said, God bless you. That's what I said I to you. I didn't know you said that. That's God bless I, you also. God bless you. For he who has seen me has seen God. Yes. God bless you because yes, I felt ma'am. it. So God bless you. Thank That's you. That's all I want to say again mm. to you today. God, God bless you. God bless you also. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll receive it. Amen. Amen. Kevin Gates here, man. We celebrating the ceremony. Uh, Trace, I'm going to let you jump in. I saw that smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, Kevin, um, I think what you're describing is really She's having a relationship a with your intuition and also you know, developing no. the muscle pretty of discernment. No? That's not what I'm but talking about. Ugly, okay. Okay. Intuition is a beautiful thing. Women are naturally gifted with intuition because women are um, spiritual. They can transform liquid into something physical. That's why I would never lie to a woman because that intuition is naturally God-given wisdom. So like if you go in the house, they got I know killers that's scared to tell their women the truth. But I believe I honesty is the best policy. I'm just giving you a hypothetical. Women can't feel certain shit. But you have to be brutally honest with a woman because her intuition not gonna mislead her. She know. They scared to go tell their woman, hey, hey, where you been, babe? I've been fucking. The truth. (laughs) And when you tell her the truth, guess what she could do? She can heal you and cleanse you of all of that. Come get these sins off me, babe. Mm -hmm. But if you don't tell her the truth, guess what? Her intuition gonna be over here in her womb, that's a separate chakra. Mm-hmm. And guess what? You can offset her pH levels because she hasn't processed it. Right. And when you give a woman an option, you know, she treats you like God. Amen. You're not lying about that. I'm talking but, about But what I have has to be cultivated. Mm-hmm. There's not no there's not no intuition right here. This is pure vision. This is cultivated. Yeah, this. this is I'm operating in a different dimension and a different realm. This mm-hmm. has to be cultivated. This comes from a lot of fasting. This comes from going beyond the veil. This comes from fasting to 42 days sometimes, 21 days. When my spirit called to do it, I just don't eat nothing. This is when the veil is weakened on the eyes. Mm-hmm. So I can see things that other people can't see. People are going to say I'm tripping, I'm crazy. That's mm-hmm. cool, but I'm winning. Look at me and look at you. It's got to be developed. I'm glowing, you're not. When it comes to your um, audience, when you had mentioned earlier about knowing that even if you have a PhD in psychology and you're teaching first graders, you got to be able to break it down at a place that's You got to be able to speak in layman's terms. Do you feel like for your direct audience that you're able to speak to them completely yes, ma'am. free? Yes, on, um, on the On the ceremony album, I do it, and I'm not trying to insert it, but this was the first time I did it. I spoke about, like, spirituality mm-hmm. the act of breathing real spirituality remembering uh. the remembrance because every cell in your body can holds memory every cell yeah, uh, yeah. and when you're not into muscles and why they call it muscle memory you know what i'm saying man you could be swole as a bitch hit nine for years and then stop and then you know once you stop you lose a lot of your games you know what i'm saying but the moment you start back hitting that ass, man, within two, three weeks, muscle memory can kick in. You know what I'm saying? You you back jacked up. So that is real. With yourself, and you lying yourself to be distracted, such as even sleeping with the phone in the room, especially women. They don't need to have the phone in the room at all because they're governed by the moon. Mm-hmm. And it disrupts the melatonin cycles. This when they get their psychic downloads. Yep. This is when they get their downloads, that wisdom that they can impute to me so I could go out and execute it. So it's you know, it works together. Mm-hmm. The son being the strict father, that's the that's the masculine. Yep. The mother earth, the feminine energy, the holy divine feminine and the sacred masculinity together as one. Create what? Life. Yep. What can you speak to 
your your information. How did you acquire your information? Um, what, what are some of the outlets you went to? It came from the Celestial Court above. Mm -hmm. When a student ready to learn, the teacher will appear. I can't really speak on what it is that I underwent, but when a student is truly ready to learn, I'm talking about pure of heart. When you say, man, I done had enough. I'm sick of this. Mm -hmm. The teacher will appear. And guess how the teacher going to come? How is that? Might come like you, might come like Miss Heather B. You gonna you gonna you gonna receive these this information, these downloads. Yep. It's like putting a piece of a puzzle together. Mm -hmm. You're on a journey. Oh, That's I why you can't be judge nobody and shun people because you never know yeah, who's gonna hold the next talk. key for yeah, this puzzle. You can be a bum. You know Kevin what I'm we call life. Yeah, we call life. Like, <laughs> like I was against yoga, uh -huh. but me taking, but me saying I ain't about to go do no yoga. But once I started doing yoga. <laughs> It speared me into a different direction. Had I not did it, I wouldn't be nowhere close to where I'm at right now. So that was a piece of the puzzle, a small piece of the puzzle. That's I can achieve whatever I want to just through the act of breathing, something that we don't do because we operate out of fight or flight. Mm -hmm. So by helping the world heal, I found my mission. When I help the world heal, especially men, when I help the world heal, well, so he I got to say it again, shit. especially men, I in turn really help myself here because mm -hmm. I talk to myself every day, all day. I enjoy my conversations. I do that a lot you too. Like intelligent Come conversations. Yeah, yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. I never let me down. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Mad right, interesting. Man. Everybody talk to themselves, man. Niggas be standing, faking, blogging, talking about, man, you crazy. You talk, man. Everybody talk to themselves. The ones who calling you crazy, they, they talk to themselves. Everybody do it. You 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 do it when you don't notice you doing it. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to play this song called "Heal You." Yes, Lord. Speak to that song. Heal shit. Yeah. A transfer of energy is healing. Uh -huh. My energy is very healing, but I have to be careful because you have to be careful because you can admit so much energy into others, you can pour into others so much that you forget to pour into yourself. Uh -huh. And that's when we age, that's when we become drained. You ever had a conversation with somebody and you're like, man, it's fucking so exhausted, I'm drained. Yeah. Yeah. But you have a conversation with somebody and then you feel refreshed after yeah. They gave you life. Other people, they just took energy. They was energy vampires. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm at with it right now. I had to learn how to set them healthy boundaries, but I heal shit. Here it is, heal you. Kevin Gates, 888-742-3345. I heal you. Kevin Gates is here. The album is the ceremony. I ran I ran like a mile before I came here. I ran a mile in six minutes, and I listened to that song. The time you ran? The whole time you? Before I came here. Before you came? Yo, I'm going I'm, I'm I, I, to go to the gym. I didn't want to commit. You saw me. I just started right there. Yeah, I I'm saw going, all uh, of that. <laughs> If you I'm just gonna, if you just walk in the gym and walk out, you still showed up. That's the first step. See, I'm, I'm not here to I'm not here to I'm not here to compete with you. Yeah. If you walk in the gym and do one push up, guess what? You, tomorrow you might do two, mm -hmm. then three. Now if we go to the gym the first day and I just make you do thirty push ups and your body can't take that kind of capacity or that kind of momentum or that type of frequency, guess what happened? You saw it for a whole week. Yeah. But if we just do a little at a time, you know, the slower you go, the further you get. Mm -hmm. There you go. Anything fast don't last. Right. Yep. Fast like that's don't like last. you showed me a man, like, like, and I and I mean this with all due disrespect. Mm -hmm. Like I don't listen at a fat motivational speaker, cause I man. used to be fat. Mm -hmm. I was I was three hundred ten pounds. I was a slob. I was a slob. You know what I'm saying? And. I used to go in and point out everybody else's flaws because I had a fear of somebody seeing me for me. It took anger, frustration, and when I told you about the little baby yeah. who was trying to suck my titty and mm -hmm. everybody laughed at me. Mm -hmm. And a nigga, I, a nigga, they used to be like the press or whatever in a lot of videos, uh, older interviews. You could tell, man, like mentally he wasn't really stable. You know what I'm saying? Eat a dick. Cause that was harsh reality, but that's what motivated me to put good, in the work. I, have to right, the feel good. I bring. I can't listen to somebody empower me if they're not empowering themselves. Mm -hmm. I empower myself. That's how I'm able to empower others. One thing about it is habits. I honor the commitments I make to myself, like discipline, self-restraint equals self-respect, self-respect equals self-confidence. That's why when I walk in the room, I I know I honor my commitment. I ran that mile before I came here. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm how of me. Yeah. I like that. Come on. Let's get back to Word what up. you're going to do in the gym today, Sway, because, Kevin, before we came here, Sway told me he Instead walked in the gym yesterday on this and then walked out. He did a couple shots. He showed up. He showed, showed up. up. That's what we were up. talking about. That's the first step. Yep, he showed up. We fuck just with, had that fuck conversation. What TV talking about you? Yeah. And that like you, if you can't eat, you can't sleep, you can't. You, you, no pain, no gain. If your body is in pain, that is an indication that something is off balance. Mm -hmm. Something is you're in, you're not in alignment. Don't go in there and try to kill yourself. You go in there and do what you can do. All you can do is all you can do. I did shoot around a you little bit. You told me. I said that. Uh, so okay. he said he shot, right. shot about so. Like I don't like that. Like when people say, "No, you gotta go in." No, that's not true. That's not because they not living like that. Tell me about this album, The Ceremony, because when I go back to Isaiah, I went back and listened to a lot of the projects that you've done. Um, t talk to me the about ceremony? the ceremony. Yeah, the identity I, of this one. Um, reuniting with my authentic self. Okay. You know, I, I was like so many others in the world, like living in a, um, a facade, mm -hmm. showing you what, what I thought was acceptable, or what I thought you wanted to see. You know, I was living in my truth, but you remember last time when I used to come up, I used to have syrup in the cup. That's right. You know, I was on drugs, mm -hmm. things of that nature. You know, the things that people don't like to look at, but I don't tell the truth. But I used to think that external things had a value, but well, external things don't have value. Good, Inside is what counts. Uh -huh. You know, and we condition like that from poverty-stricken situations because it's like, if I want the girl, you know, I got to have a car, I got to have the money, and a gun mm. to or get a girlfriend. The ghetto you know, kid. We, th we think that things the, the give the us happiness, kid. but things don't make us happy. External things don't add value to who we are. Mm -hmm. It's us being who we are authentically. That's man. what has the value. Real talk, man. For real. Because, like, prime example, man. Like, you know, I got a video I post, I think, yesterday, maybe, about YB. You know what I'm saying? And, um, not saying nothing bad. I was just speaking my truth and how I feel about the young brother, man. I feel like he not happy, bro. And that's the example of how people can have all the riches, all the fame, and at the same time, deep down inside, they hurting. You know, they they stressing. You know, they not doing well. You know what I'm saying? And that shit real, man. You. That's why in my listening part, I mm -hmm. just had celebrated, and mm -hmm. it was so beautiful. And I went in there with just a little small little watch on that somebody had gifted me. Shout out to Emmett, and he had gifted me this little small little watch. It was it was beautiful. It was rare because he know I'm a rare watch collector. I like rare things. Mm -hmm. So I just went and I said I ain't even gonna wear no jewelry because I am the jewelry. Mm -hmm. I had my little, yeah, I had my, little, little I had my little white jacket on my little bow tie. You know, I was flying. I was fliggity. Yeah, Yo, you was fliggity. <laughs> yeah, I was doing my, little, you know, I was doing my little shit. You know, and I had a blast. Like, yeah. and I and I just told everybody, thank y'all for coming out. I want y'all to know this is this is the ceremony. We are not our past. Mm -hmm. We are not Ooh. our past. We are only the face of the same. Man, dude, be hitting it on the head, man. Say, bro. One thing I gotta say about Gates, bro. Dude, bro. That nigga just listening to Gates is therapeutic, bro. That nigga, man, whatever you going through, we gonna get you out of it. He gonna get you through it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? We are not our past, bro. Real talk, man. Past gone. The only thing that matter is this moment right here, today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow don't almost matter because it ain't here yet. Today, you feel me? Answers in the decisions that we make. We still got today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Yeah. We still got today and tomorrow to become great. To become great. When you look, um, you know, this, your, this ain't your fourth project, but fourth studio album. When you look at the music business as it is today, what do you see? Different from what you saw when you came in. You want me to be all the way, all the way honest? Do you know how to be any other way? I don't know nothing. I don't see nothing different, to be okay. honest with you. All right. I don't see nothing different because I, I stayed myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't, no, and no disrespect to no other artists that did this, I never sold my catalog because <clears throat> I didn't have to. Mm -hmm. I like fishing and hunting. I live below my means. I don't live above my means, so <clears throat> I, don't, I don't need anything. Mm -hmm. I go fishing and hunting. Like, y'all saw me, I, I, I live on a farm. Mm -hmm. I'm a goat herder. I got chickens and dogs and camels and mm -hmm. I got cattle, meat processing plant. 
Man, this nigga got camels, I man. Got coffee. Tell me that ain't no different shit, man. Who the fuck general, got camels, man? Like, like in the morning, it's my, <laughs> my nigga ritual. got camels, I get man. up in the morning, I take That's a cold wrong. shower, black coffee, pray, stretch, do my little yoga, then I go work out. That's my ritual. So I name my coffee brand Ritual. Oh, um, okay. Nice. I'm going to have to try that ritual. coffee. Bro. That's part of my life. routine. Because I fuck mm-hmm. with coffee. Do you brew? I mean, you grow the beans on your land? Yes, sir. Oh. My man, Kevin Gates. Damn, get that around. Not on, not on, not on that form. Okay, but it's yeah, it's it's on another it's form. It's on another form. Like me, my partners. Okay. And the blend was selected by me. It's it's custom made because you know I'm a coffee connoisseur. Mm-hmm. You know, anywhere I go, I want to taste yeah. different blends. But I got a nice little blend. It's just it's tailored for me. It's a medium roast. It's a roast where you in the morning you could go work out on it. Late night, you can read a little book. I don't know if y'all do this, but I drink coffee at nighttime before I go to sleep, too. That doesn't keep you up, or is no, it? No, sir. Mm. And it's not a decaf. Mm-mm. I tell my body what to do. On this whole of divine day, I hereby release all the energy that no longer serve my higher self. So it is. Mm. When I pray, I just tell God I'm grateful and I'm thankful. Anything I want, I command a Ferrari. I command a Porsche if that's what I wanted. I command the things that I want, but I pray. When I pray, I'm just out of gratitude. I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for this. But anything I want, I manifest it. I just, it just comes to me. I attract it. Man, that's so I got to be very careful though. Responsibility to come yeah. with that, cause I could attract the wrong thing. So I got to be conscious. If I have a like a thought, I can't loop in a negative thought. I got to learn yeah. from the lesson <clears throat> and move on. Attach a positive connotation to it, because I could attract that to me also. So I got to just be, you know. Real cognitive with like my thoughts, cause your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, yeah, your actions, actions become your habits, become your, yeah. and I gotta beat myself up so the world can't beat me up, cause the world could be a cruel place at times, but it also could be Shit, a beautiful yeah, place. Especially on the internet. Perspective, that's when miracles happen, and that's what I had to do: get out my own fucking way and yeah. stop being a dummy. Kevin Gates, man, I love it. Heaven looking at you because these are conversations man. we just had. Just had. You know, this all our all. That man say, get out your own fucking way. And that's, that's, that's priceless, bro. And a lot of us be in our own way. We don't want to know it. Real talk. Man. Mic conversations. We mm-hmm. have an on mic with Kev. Mm-hmm. You know Vince on the line from Detroit. Vince. What up, V? Hey. What up, though? Hey, y'all. What's going on? Good morning. Hey, I, I'm blessed, man, because... I I'm in, I got like three work vehicles and they all got XM radio in there. And every time y'all got somebody spiritual and positive, I get to call and talk to y'all. Yes, Lord. I don't Lord. know how much I pay a month for these bills. <laughs> a lot. I've got, I, it's been, yeah, I don't know how much it is, but <laughs> I done caught every single positive rapper. And Ke- Kevin, you're one of my favorites, man. I got to tell you, your music, your whole, I love listening to you talk yeah, on your, your interviews and stuff, man, because it's still like, that brother talking to me, man. He, he, that's that's what I feel. That's what I've been thinking. Me and Tracy G had a talk a long time ago. She probably ain't going to remember this about bipolar. And it's like everything that you said, I didn't understand at the time. So, but now that I, I hear the voices, I listen to the voices, that voice is my inner spirit. That voice is my inner side. And everything that I didn't do, not listening to those voices, I ended up paying for it, just like you said. And it's like, man, this guy right here. I thank y'all. For, hey, and... I was dead serious about inviting y'all to dinner, man. I thought y'all was down here in uh, Detroit with Shea 45 the other day, but y'all ain't hit me back. So you I, got a, I got a question. You yes, know sir. what great decision-making comes from? No, ha- tell me. Having made a lot of mistakes. Mistakes make us great. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I think you're doing amazing. E.B. said this. Kev, I got to tell you, I done made a lot of mistakes. Oh, but... Yeah. Really, Yo. Mistakes do make us great, man. And then, like, I'm trying to agree with everything they saying, you know, like, it is, man. Nah, man. What this man saying, what the dude saying, bro, is real shit, man. Like, mistakes do make us great. You feel me? You know, how else we gonna learn from a mistake? You know what I'm saying? Now, when you keep doing the same mistake over and over, now you stupid. You know what I'm saying? You know, now you fucking up. You feel what I'm saying? That's why it's called a mistake to learn from it and keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? And don't do it again. (laughs) You got that Professor X right now, yo. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's not that. It's just that energy. 
Yeah. The language That's of energy, energy is from the language. There. Yeah. Words are primitive. Any, you could walk in the room. I could talk good as a bitch all day, mm -hmm. but. Anybody that's in tune with energy and in tune with themselves, they gonna feel it. What I'm saying, the truth or is not. Like they gonna feel it. They gonna know. Oh, he just talk good as a bitch. You gonna know. Is it, energy doesn't lie. Wow. Language is primitive. Cause see, somebody that talk good to you and trick your mind. Yep. That's why I say suspect evil and no one until see it. Once see it, forget it not. For once, an enemy could never be a friend. Big Sam told me when they painted you a picture, don't let them paint you another picture. Yeah. Kevin Gates. You could talk good as yeah. a bitch and trick my mind. Yeah. Now I'm back believing in you again. Mm. But you already showed me that you wasn't my friend, so we reward loyalty with loyalty and we reward disloyalty with distance. I forgive you, but I ain't about to forget and be naive. Right. That's unintelligent. Vince, thanks for your call, man. You're a super citizen, a brother. In the morning. Hey, the new album is out Friday. The ceremony. You're going to love this one, Vince, all right? You got it, man. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace. Peace. Dia's on the line from North Carolina. Dia. What up, Dia? Welcome hey, to the Dia. show, Dia. What's up? Thank you. Blessings to all of y'all. Blessings. You too, boo. Hey, Kevin Gates, what you said about the phone thing and the energy, or I'm sorry, um, with dreaming. I'm a dreamer, and that really resonated with me. And I appreciate you very much because I needed that today. Yeah, you be having, like, prophetic dreams, and you got to start paying attention to them because that's, that's your guidance. Like we like we are amazing. Like we mm. are so amazing. Like we like we let T V tell us that we not really nothing, but we amazing. Like mm. Thank you. Mm. Okay, Dia, make sure you pick up the project. It's a lot of information. I'm just, just scratching the surface. Yeah, he, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. No, that's, you're great. Always been great. Thank, thank you. you. Gratitude. Bye. I received that for Kev too. I said thank you. You did. You saw that. That's my brother. Thank you for thanking my telling my brother. You and me. <laughs> yeah, man. You Come me, on. I am you. There it is. I want for my brother what I want for myself. Amen. True indeed. Amen. I love that. Rob in Philly. Dude just don't know, bro, how much of an impact he is, bro. You know, and a blessing to the game right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Despite, you know, he got his wild side to where, you know, still talking shit, but for us, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, coming with that truth and that knowledge, and you feel me? Man, do one of the royals who do it on that level, you know what I'm saying? Real spill. You go ahead, Rob. You yeah, Rob. Caller. What's goody? Yeah. 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 What's up, family? Rob. Happy New Year Rob. to my Happy people. I ain't to well, yeah, man. Um, ain't too much left for the interview, you know, a few minutes. I'm going to just cut it right there. Uh, like, I already had kind of watched it, a little bit of it. Um, yeah, man. Man, y'all tell me, man, what y'all think of the interview, bro. And, um, you know, that um, what he said, you know, in this interview was helpful to y'all. You know what I'm saying? It was to me. Uh like I say, man, y'all go check out this new album, The Ceremony. That mother nice. It go hard, too. Um, and shit, bro. If you new here, man, please hit the subscribe button. And if you already, um, you know, with the family, you already remember, man, get them thumbs up for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Help the brother out over here, man. You know, we family now, man. But, uh, man, everybody have a blessed rest of the night. You feel me? Man, I'm out.